getting ready to do a spring test comparison. And I pull out the magwinder, put my bushing on the new helix spring, and feed it up into the feed neck, and I can feel something going on. It's stuck. So this is brand new. And there's the follower. I wouldn't say it's stuck stuck, nothing the spring couldn't overcome, but it certainly shouldn't be like this. And it's kind of hard to tell through a camera, but right where the light is, right down there, is a piece of molding, injection molding. And it's right. Right here. Right there. That's very difficult to see, I guess. Right there. And it sticks out enough that it holds it in place. And I can knock it loose but it's certainly not free. Something to watch out for if it's getting stuck. Because it would go down and then just kind of hang up right here. You give it a little wiggle and it would pop back up. But anyway, just wanted to point that out. So this is the Helix spring. It's got two ends, sort of a loose coil and a tight coil. I'm going to put this bushing on the tight coil end. And this bushing for the helix has a little bit of a shoulder. So this part's going to go inside the follower until that shoulder meets the base. And this has a one degree taper on it to hold the spring captive. And I just install it like this. Slip it in between two coils. Orient it upwards. And then once you get up to the top, I just work my way around with a fingernail. Until it's at that shoulder. And then push. Good and tight. And that taper is going to hold this on there. So this is what I did. See? It gets hung up. Right here. I don't know if you can see the spring stretching. That should just come right through. But it's not. It's binding up. So initially I thought, well, maybe my follower was the wrong size. But it's just not. And that's when I got poking around and found it's just that nub. So I'm going to go around with some 600 grit. Clean up this edge until it's nice and free. Because it's sticking. So... I'm going to put this back together and then I'm going to test the differences. Another item of interest. This seam right here, after I got the follower nice and polished up, this side is actually higher than this side. So I started filing this way and a file only hits the high points. So it's a good way to tell what's going on. As you can see, the file is only hitting right here. And I'm filing the center. But that's where it's hitting. So another place to check for interference would be this seam. If you want to get her all tuned up, you want to make sure there's no interference. back at it. Okay, now that's been filed and polished up. 
nice and shiny. The follower has no resistance in the feed neck. No more stiction. Onward. Okay, now for the fun part. So this one is stock, still has the winder. This one is a stock spring, winder deleted. This one is winder deleted with the helix spring. And this one has the helix spring in tandem with the stock spring. So we'll start with stock with winder. 10 ounces. Let's do them each twice. 10 ounces. Winder deleted stock spring. Nine ounces. Zero ounces. What do you bet? Ah, look at that. Another one. Check your feed neck, folks. So I'd say when it's not sticking, it's nine round up to 10 ounces. <laughs> I'll have to take care of that. All right, this is the Helix spring. This is the one that we polished up nice. So 10, nine. And this is stock in tandem with the Helix. Eighteen, seventeen. That ought to feed pretty well. That's got some power. I don't think this one would do that. No, didn't even clear the plunger. Yeah, there you go.